you are looking for a night out this weekend, you may want to check out some of the light city events going on in a neighborhood near you. Megan Bossy joins us live this morning from the, well, with more on Light City from one of the neighborhoods involved. And Megan, thank you for joining us. And uh, a lot to talk about with Light City. You all are definitely uh, kind of in full swing already. Yes, so Neighborhood Lights um, kicks off this weekend. It kicked off yesterday. We had great events in um, Highland Town, Little Italy, Holland's Market, Federal Hill, um, the Bromo Arts and Entertainment District, just to name a few. And we have a lot of events um, still to come tonight, like right here in Darley Park. We have an event in Remington tonight, Bel Air Edison, Waverly, Pigtown. So we're really all across the city this weekend with Neighborhood Lights. So each one of the 14 neighborhoods has something different to offer. Uh, what can people expect if they are visiting Light City for the very first time? So a lot of the neighborhoods are um, just having events. So the light is more metaphorical in that we're shining a light on that community and we want people to come out and experience it if they haven't been there. Um, and some of the, some of the um, events are actually light installations where the artist has created um, a light-based visual artwork for everyone to see that will be on view the whole weekend. Now, Megan, you went from eight neighborhoods last year to 14 this year. What has changed? What has gotten bigger and better? So that really just came out of conversations that we had um, with the community. More people wanted to be involved, and we just said, why not? We want more people to be involved, too. So we're really trying to um, spread the light of Light City um, everywhere instead of just at the festival at the Inner Harbor. All right, Megan Bossy with the Baltimore Office of Promotion and Arts. You guys are doing a great job with this year's Light City. Hopefully more city or more neighborhoods will turn out next year. Absolutely. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thank you, guys. All right, Megan, thank you. And uh, lightcity.org is the website. Of course, we have a link on our website at WJZ.com.